All right, guys, last time we had some overgassing issues with the ZPAP 85. Super duper gassy. But I have since got the KS adjustable piston. So, oops, safety. So it's pretty easy to adjust. I've already got this dialed for non suppressed, it's 20 clicks from the top. It's going to be different for each gun, I'm assuming. But for the suppressed, I found that it works best with it clicked all the way down. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys that. Just reinstall it. And I got a full mag in here. Insert the recoil spring. All right, so we are using the Tacticon Predator V4 once again. I'm very impressed by this sight. It's got a clear glass. It's got the circle, the dot, and the circle dot, so you could switch it up depending on what you want to do. We're also running this on the Ultimac rail for optimal co-witness. And we have the Omega 300. So I'm going to go ahead and just basically, if you guys remember from last video we did with this, it was super gassy. So this time with the adjustable piston, it's going to be running pretty good. And you might have to bring it up a couple clicks. It cycled fine whenever I tested it out there, but it is a little warmer today, so that may have a that may play a factor in it. We'll go ahead and bring it up about five clicks. So basically, whenever you adjust these, you want to take a shot and see if it'll cycle or not, and if it doesn't, then you just want to adjust up five clicks. And then keep doing that until you have a pretty good reliability with it. And temperature is also going to play a factor, so keep that in mind. We'll try it five clicks up. See how this goes. So, running into a couple more issues, we might have to dial it up some more. We'll go eight clicks. All right. And we're out. All right, so when that last round kind of jammed, the bullet actually went inside of the casing here. So I had enough force to push the bullet inside the casing. Pretty weird. Definitely could have caused a squib. Luckily, we caught that. So with the right adjustment, the piston's gonna run pretty accurate. I had to adjust it a few times myself. But after that, we had pretty good accuracy and very minimal gas blowback.